I think it's kind of appropriate that I'm sitting here with an A1C talking about yeah. this topic. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's certainly of a lot of interest. Um, I think it's, um, you know, I think it's a big decision the Air Force made and they uh, they did it on January 4th, 2018, so just this year. And they set, decided to eliminate uh, in, enlisted performance reports uh, for A1Cs and below, uh, really E3 and below, and uh, with less than 36 months in time and service. Uh, and then uh, for the reserve, less than E4 uh, okay. folks uh, and below. And then uh, I think it's a twofold type of deal because on the one hand, it allows the airmen to focus on their jobs and not worry about a performance report. And then we're not documenting their performance until yeah. they've got some skills and whatever it is they're being trained to do. And then on the other side, the second part of that is for the supervisors, right? So they're, they're going to have time where they're not spending at a computer typing out EPRs yeah. for a lot of airmen because that's obviously our biggest, you know, populace in the Air Force. You know, if you think of a pyramid, obviously most of the folks are in those lower ranks. And so they'll have less time before they're tied to a computer doing those things and they can get out, make sure they're supervising, leading and training those airmen. So I think that part's uh, pretty good. And again, like I said, for uh, all active duty airmen, uh, so they won't receive their first uh, EPR or evaluation until they reach the 31st Mar 31 March static closeout date, either after their promotion or until they reach 36 months uh, time in service. And then uh, whichever of those occurs first. On the reserve side, they're just, they basically said, hey, you know, E4 and below, you won't get one until you become an E4 and, and you reach that static closeout date on uh, 31 March, so senior airmen there. So a little bit different between uh, the services. And then now you kind of worry about, well, how are we going to document performance and those kind of things? Yeah. And there's a couple things that we're going to do. One is, you know, we can do an informal letter of evaluation to document that performance in an assignment. And then we can award that airman, um, you know, a decoration as they PCS. So you don't hate for yeah. someone to go full assignment and really not have any evidence of uh, yeah. a performance, performance. So we can do that. And then the other thing we can do is uh, we're still going to do feedbacks. So there'll be initial and midterm feedbacks so we can give them uh, guidance and directions through that process. Just won't have a piece of paper uh, at the end of it to take away. And then, of course, people always get worried about promotions. And we're still going to have senior and below the zone opportunities. Yeah. Instead of doing looking at the performance reports, we'll look at an Air Force form 1206, which is what we do for you know all awards and decks and those kind of things. So uh, the 1206 will be the process for the below the zone piece. And then the other thing is people get concerned, well, what if – Airman so-and-so is not doing well. How do we mm. document that? Well, you can. Yeah. So you commanders can do a directed um, performance report, and we can do an EPR mm. for someone that maybe gets in trouble or steps out of line, and we can make sure we document that uh, for the future. So I think in the big scheme of things, it's going to save us a lot of work administratively, and then we're still going to promote airmen. We're still going to uh, give them feedback, and we're still going to uh, have them opportunities for blow zone promotions. And so I think at the end of the day, it's actually a good thing for us. Yeah.